Hi everyone. Today I want to teach you about the proper way of filing your nails. Now everybody's heard the myth that you either have to file in one direction or you have to file from the corner to the center and the corner to the center. Now does anybody remember which of those two things your nail book said to do? Because on some of my pedicure tutorials I have people commenting that I'm not doing things properly. Now I've been doing nails for 23 years and I will tell you that your nail book teaches you that to prevent you from destroying someone's nail so you're more careful or from slicing their skin with the fingernail file so you go more slowly and more carefully. There are a few things that they don't tell you in the book that I'm going to tell you today that's going to make way bigger of a difference than one direction or from corner to center. And that's the pressure you apply to the nail file when you're applying it to the nail bed, the torque on the nail plate, and the angle of the nail file. Now, if you use those three things properly, it doesn't matter how you file the nail as long as you get the shape that you want. So first, let's talk about pressure. I'm going to press on this fingernail with the file and see how I can move the finger up and down. So I'm pressing in. I'm pressing in and I can move the finger. That's too much pressure. You want the nail file to do the work. So when you apply pressure to the finger, so now I'm going to apply pressure and I'm going to just move back and forth so you can see my finger moving and this is going to be too much pressure. So I'm going to push and see how I'm moving the finger. Now the file's not even, it's stationary. It's not even going back and forth on the nail plate, but you can see that my finger is moving. That's too much pressure. Angle. You, you don't want to hold the fingernail file at an angle under the nail plate unless you're shaping something like with acrylic. Um, you don't want the fingernail file to be this way and you don't want it to be this way. You want it to be perpendicular. Well, I guess it's only perpendicular if it's held this way. Um, to the nail plate. The nail plate, even though it's thin, I mean, it still has width there. And you want the fingernail file to be flat against the nail board. So, pressure. This is too much. You want the nail file to do the work. So I'm going to sit the nail file on there, and I'm going to move it back and forth. And you can see that my finger is not moving. But we are taking off. Nail. You can see the little bit of dust that it's making on the nail plate. You're not going to tear up layers of the nail if you use the right amount of pressure and let the fingernail file do the work. Um, let's talk about torque. Um, that's pulling up and down. You can see I'm going to pr put pressure on the nail with the nail file and I'm going to move it up and down. Can you see the nail moving? You don't want to torque the nail where it bends because the fingernail is made in layers. Layer, 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 layer. And that all the integrity of it has to be all in one piece. When you start bending the nail, um, it's going to snap those adhesion of the layers and it's going to peel, split, crack um, and be a great big pain in the butt when you're trying to grow out someone's nails. So you can't be putting so much pressure with the nail file, um, twisting, filing, moving the nail file back and forth with crazy angles on it. You have to let the fingernail file do the work. Now I, I kind of feel like I don't have my thoughts all together so I'm hoping that you get the gist of my story. So 
We're going to go back and forth. We're going to take off a little bit of the nail. I'm going to shape. Now when I'm shaping, I, I'm lifting off the nail. I'm not, I'm not keeping constant contact. Sometimes when you're going around a corner and you're trying to keep constant contact, the nail file is going to skip. You don't want it to skip. So just bring it in, lift it up, go back where you came from. Lift it up. So when you're shaping the nail, that line of your nail book where it says to go from the side to the center, that makes sense, right? Because you're going to shape and you're going to try to make it symmetrical. So let's, this one's kind of weird. So we're going to go ahead and just go back and forth and take a look. And see, I'm keeping constant pressure on it because I'm taking off length. That's another thing. When you're going to take off length, you still can't apply tons of pressure. And you can't be putting, um, you know, torque on the nail. But you can keep pressure in that nail file on the nail bed to take off length because you're not tearing up layers of the nail. This, if I go from here to here and file and then lift off and then go over here and here to here and lift off, there's no difference of keeping it in contact of, on the free edge of the nail. So you can carefully Go back and forth to take off some length as long as you keep those things in mind. Now we're going to file those corners. We aren't bending it. We aren't twisting the nail file. We aren't going crazy. Let's see what this one looks like. So I'm going to hold this one up so you can see it a little bit better. So this one has a little bit of a peel in it. It was getting dehydrated underneath the acrylic. That can happen. So you can see that's curved. So we, I want to take down the length enough. Now you can see that my finger's moving a little bit, so I'm going to chill out and go a little slower. So I'm going to show you the wrong way and the right way to file your nails. So I'm going to I'm going to apply a good amount of pressure so you can see the finger moving and the nail plate moving. This is the wrong way. Too much pressure. Now, if you do it the wrong way, you can make up for it, but you're going to have to then shorten them a little bit more. Um, if you've applied too much torque, it's too late because that can apply or that can affect, you know, the nail plate quite a ways down the free edge. But if it's just a really, really rough end of the free edge, you can correct that by lightly shortening the nail again. So I'm letting the fingernail file do the work. You don't have to use tons of pressure. It's abrasive. It's going to remove nail plate. So that's the right way. This is the wrong way. You can also, when the angle changes like this, so you want to keep it flat this way. If you tilt the file, see how it's going under? Watch. Now watch right there on my fingernail. You can see it turn white. Watch. See that? That is the torque you're putting on the fingernail. Can't do that. Even if you were going in one direction, you can still hurt the nail. Watch. See that? 
See how it's turning white? And I'm only going in one direction. So that whole myth about one direction doesn't really matter. It's the pressure, the torque, and the angle of the file. Watch. All right, let's give you another example of too much pressure and torque. Ready? Watch my nail bed change colors. See it? That's a no-no. Now the grit of your file makes a big difference too. You cannot use an 80 grit, you cannot use a 100 grit. You cannot use, um, you cannot, this, this is 150 grit and it's worn out. So if this was brand new right out of the, the wrapper, I wouldn't use this on someone's natural nails. I like to use around 240 grit nail file to take length off and especially during pedicures. And before you file someone's toenails, if their toes are really sharp, you want to take the corners off the nail. I take another fingernail file and break the edges of them so they aren't super sharp. Because as soon as you sit that nail file on someone's skin and pull it across, you could slice their skin wide open. So you always want to break in the corners of the nail file. So. Now, um, I hope you guys learned something and that you can understand completely those elements I was talking about. Torque, pressure, angle. Um, oh, I don't think I elaborated on why the angle makes a difference. So if I'm filing at an angle this way on the nail and I turn the nail sideways, even though the width of the nail is like half a millimeter wide, you have sharpened it. So now each of those layers are now at a different location. And now they have a greater chance to peel back. If you hit it on the edge of something, that top layer that's just a tiny bit longer than all the rest of those layers can flip up. And that's what's going to make someone's nails split, peel, crack. Um, and the other way too, if you hold the fingernail file this way and file just a teeny little bit, the top of that nail plate, you, you have filed off and then the longest part is on the bottom. And I wish I had a microscope to show you, but I don't. So you're going to have to take my word for it. So I hope you guys learned something. I might not always explain things in the best way, but I try my best. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.